What's up, gals and pals? It's your boy Vino, and welcome back to 60 Second Cocktails. Ladies and gentlemen, as I continue to scour the tiki world for whiskey-based tiki cocktails, I came across one the other day that does have whiskey in it, but that is not the base spirit. The base spirit is actually brandy. I found that just as intriguing as a whiskey-based tiki cocktail, so I figured I'm going ahead and make that for you guys today. Now, the cocktail is called an Austrian Summer, and it was created by a New York City bartender by the name of Erin Reese. Now, what she was hoping to accomplish with this cocktail was to uh, combine two of her favorite classic cocktails, the Champ Alize and the Cameron's Kick. And then just to tiki it up, she decided to add some coconut flavor to it. Now, I've never had this cocktail before, so I am really intrigued to see what it is all about. So we're gonna try that bad boy together. All right, folks? So make sure you stick around because we are gonna boogie down. All right, folks, let's go ahead and look at what is in the sauce. The first thing you're gonna need is an ounce and a half of brandy. I'm gonna be using cognac. And now you're gonna need half an ounce of Irish whiskey. I'm gonna be using a Tullamore Dew Irish Whiskey Caribbean Cash, just to uh, tiki fight up a little more. And then you're gonna want a half an ounce of your favorite coconut rum liqueur. I'm going to be using Brindley Gold Shipwreck. And just to make things really interesting, we're gonna be using a half an ounce of green chartreuse. And now for our juice, we're gonna be using three quarters an ounce of lemon juice. And finally, one dash of Angostura bitters. Now the recipe calls for two small pieces of ice to be thrown in the shaker and then you shake it until they disappear. Okay, now you wanna break out your highball, which has been chilling like a villain. And then we're gonna pour the cocktail into the glass without any ice. And now we're gonna fill the glass up with some crushed ice. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and garnish that with a little pineapple frond. And there you have it, folks, our Austrian summer. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I am so ready to give this bad boy a sippy sip. Let me get my straw here and let's find out what this thing is all about. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, wait a second. That is... Ladies and gentlemen, that is super interesting, but in a really good way. It is like... It is complex, it is, but it still has that tropical vibe going on. And, you know, it's funny, you know, you get you, you get the coconut and you get the uh, the green chartreuse. And, you ever have a pina verde is, 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 a, is a drink that uh, combines the two of those things. It's a coconut flavor, it's a coconut cream, I think, with cream of coconut and, and green chartreuse and somehow it works. And this cocktail, it does just as well. Oh man, this is this is really, really good. Yeah, you're getting those herbal notes from the green chartreuse. You're getting some really nice, dark, rich notes from the from the brandy and the whiskey. Um, oh, this is really, really, really interesting. And after it, it kind of like really kind of sits on your palate, it becomes incredibly delicious. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. That is well worth trying. If you got these ingredients at home, I strongly suggest you give this a shot. It is a very unique take on a tiki cocktail. I think Miss Erin Reese did an incredible job putting this together. This is a fantastic cocktail, folks. Well, look, here we go again off the beaten path on the tiki road, and I think that we have another home run. Um, who knows what's next, right? Who knows what Vino is going to come across next on his tiki adventures, right, folks? <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, please press like, please subscribe, and please share with your family and friends. Remember, sharing is caring, and when life gives you lemons, make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.